Hello, Greg here up on our Egan, Minnesota Manufacturing Distribution Center. I'm back in what we call the pit um, cleaning area where we have a variety of different washout booths set up so that we can uh, work with them on different projects. Uh, this happens to be actually our um, professional series, which happens to be made out of polypropylene, which is all welded together. Um, and at the same time, it has an aluminum base, vent ready, wand holder, all that sort of stuff. Uh, we also make an economy series, a variety of other different types of washout booths, and by the way, a lot of custom work as well. Uh, but I wanted to talk about really today was going to be taking the haze out of a screen, taking that ghost image out of a screen. I have a screen here, and I'm hoping that if I bring it up here, you can actually see that we do have a ghost image in there. And um, what I want to do is I'm going to utilize one of the two haze removers we have. Uh, we have the HR2400, which is a uh, HR meaning haze remover, of course. Uh, 2400 is a liquid. It's kind of like water, in essence. So when you're putting it onto a wet screen, it has a tendency to run off a little bit. Um, if it's a dry screen, it's not an issue. But I'm actually going to show you HR2800, which is a thick liquid. So when you put it up on the screen, it stays where you want it to be. Uh, both of them work extremely effectively but this one you can use on a wet screen. So we have our, our um, hazed screen. We have our HR2800, comes in gallons, quarts, and fives. And um, again, it's a thick, thick liquid. And so what we're gonna do is take a little scrubber, um, excuse my back, and I'm going to apply some of the haze remover onto the scrubber and then onto the surface of the screen. And as you can see, it stays where you put it. And of course, I'm going to scrub this on both sides. So what we're going to do is let this sit here for about three minutes. Then I'm going to come back and with our pressure washer, we're going to use the RS1500A, which will do up to a 1500 PSI all the way down to about a 225. And um, we'll blast that off and I'll show you the end results. So we'll be right back. So at this point, we've let this sit for approximately three minutes. And now we're going to take our RS1500A pressure washer and uh, blast out that haze, and then we'll give you a nice close-up of what it looks like. Now the wands on these are actually adjustable so that we can change the flow with a bullet into a fan um, and so forth, but uh, right now, slight fan. And here we have it. We have taken out the uh, ghost image completely. It is like a brand new white 125 mesh. Um, the nice thing about this is some people will try to do this kind of thing with a with a uh, just a hose with a pre with the the uh, haze remover, ghost remover. But it's the pressure washer that really helps because it gets into the knuckles that crossing over. Um, and then it breaks it down and takes care of it from there. Okay, here we are. HR2800 haze remover. Thick liquid stays on the screen where you put it, even on a wet screen. Takes it out 
it is like having a brand new stretched screen. Thank you for watching. You know where to find us. Until the next time.